In this video I'm going to run through the steps involved in setting up a plot style and also in bringing in a title block into a drawing. So I'll start with the title block. Here I have a layout ready to go. I've set it up to be A1 in size and in a separate AutoCAD drawing I have a title block border which is a block with attributes. Uh, it's available on Moodle for uh, the civil engineering students. So what I want to do is essentially copy and paste this object into my other drawing. So I'm going to draw a selection box over the whole thing. And I'm going to go right click and I'm going to go clipboard and I'm going to copy with base point and do a left click on that. Now the command line is asking me to specify a base point. It really doesn't matter where I pick, but I'm just in the habit of picking the bottom right hand corner here. So I'll use that as my base point. And that's it. That object is now on my clipboard. I now need to switch drawings. I need to go back into the drawing where I need to place that um, title uh, block and border. And while I'm in layout mode, you see I've got layout one here. While I'm in my layout mode, I'm going to do a right click, go onto my clipboard, and I'm going to go paste as block. And it's important to paste it as a block. You'll see why in a few seconds. So paste as block and do a left click there. I can then position the uh, border and title block where I want on the piece of paper. I'm just going to do a click there like that. And that has positioned it where I would expect to position it. Now, I've also got um, certain information in here. You can see our, our logo is there, but I've also got uh, room for the title, uh, student name, lecture name, all this type of stuff here. So if I want to change any of these um, variables, I click on any of them at all. It doesn't matter. I'm going to click on the name Greg Burke there. Click on that and I can override that and I'm going to put in uh, John Smith. Uh, title line one, I will change the value to end of year project. It doesn't really matter what I put in here. And title line two, I can put in house plans. Now, it's obvious maybe that you put in whatever it is that you want to put in. Group, uh, whatever year you're in, civil one, we'll say, and go OK to that. Um, and that should update um, the title block to include um, the phrases that you've just typed in. So here you can see end of year project, house plans, name John Smith, group civil one, lecturer name. Um, so they can be changed like that. And by double clicking anywhere on the title block, you can change those variables and the attribute block will put the text you've typed in in the correct location for you automatically. So that's how to bring in the title block. Essentially, the title block is a standalone drawing which you copy onto your clipboard and then you paste as a block into the drawing where you want to use it. That's fine. So the next thing we need to do now is to set up the plot styles. I have a plot style CTB file here on my desktop. You can see it just off my AutoCAD window uh, sitting on the background there of my desktop and I want to apply that into my drawing. So what I need to do is to go up to the main menu, the big red A in the top left hand corner, find the print menu and then come down to the Manage Plot Styles sub menu. And I can see, you can see here, I'll just drag this in here. You can see all of the um, pen styles and plot styles are on here already. What I need to do is to drag and drop the CTB file that I'm interested in. You can now see it sitting in there. I'm dragging, dragging it and dropping it. I could also have uh, copied it onto the clipboard and pasted it. So I can do copy and paste here or I can do drag and drop. Either way, uh, sitting inside the plot style folder, I've now got the CTB file that I'm interested in. Once that's sitting in there, you can close that window down. And now when you come to your, um, when you come to your plotting, If I go to my uh, print and come to page setup here and modify my page setup, I've got my printer set up here, my paper size, my layout, all these things are set up. But this now is where the pen assignments come from. So on this drop down menu here, instead of selecting none or ACAD, I select the CTB file that I've imported. This CTB file is available on Moodle. 
um, for you. So it's a matter of just copying it from the website. Make sure that says the CKA1 GAS CTB and then when you go to print out all the line weights will be uh, correct and the line weights are associated with the colors that you use in your model. So this will print out in black and white but the line weights will be determined by what color you used when you were make, making your model.